What's up guys, welcome back to the Raw Visuals YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys can be notified when I put stuff out next. Trust me, you guys are gonna wanna see the stuff I'm gonna be coming out with next. I promise. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be doing something that I have done before, but it's a little bit different. So we're gonna be helping out my friend Tom. You guys may remember him from this video up here. So Tom has recently decided to upgrade his CPU from the old first generation Ryzen to the newest 3000 series line of Ryzen processors. And if you guys don't know already, you guys can use the new Ryzen 3000 line on your old like X370 motherboard, X470 motherboard, or X... Uh, B350 and B450 with just a quick BIOS update and a cool little CPU swap and that's about it. So uh, it's very easy. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in this video just in case you guys didn't know how already and uh, hopefully I can help you guys get on your way to gaming as well. So let's go ahead and roll our intro and we'll get right into how to do this. Let's go. Okay, Tom is here. Here you are, say hi Tom. What's up guys? <laughs> so, we're gonna fix his computer. Well, not fix it, but upgrade it. He's got his, where is it at right here? Ryzen 5 3600X. Solid choice, Tom. Really good choice, actually. For, uh, for mid-range stuff to high-end, probably the best processor you could get. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch these things out here, but we're gonna do first is we're going to upgrade his BIOS to the current one. That way he can actually use the processor and uh, it'll actually work. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you start doing anything with your actual computer is you need to download the new BIOS from your motherboard support website. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way right here. So we're gonna be using the X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. That is the motherboard that I put in Tom's system when I built it for him. Uh, it's a very awesome motherboard. So other than a couple of improvements and that of course the PCIe uh, Gen 4 upgrade, uh, he really doesn't need to upgrade. This is a really solid motherboard and it was one of the best in its class at the time. So uh, he's gonna go ahead and keep this one and that's why we're gonna be doing this BIOS update so he can swap out his first gen Ryzen processor with his now uh, third gen Ryzen processor. So. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do on the site. So the easiest way to do this is just to look at the motherboard's name on like the motherboard box or something like that and just type it into Google. It should take you right up to your motherboard support page. Uh, and once you get there, you'll see something like this pretty much right here. You're gonna need to go to the support section, obviously. And then you're gonna be looking for BIOS, okay? There's gonna be all these different options here. Just look for the BIOS option. And the file you're looking for is the newest BIOS that it supports right here. And you can see right here that it says supports Ryzen 3000 series CPUs and his new CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600X is listed right here. So once you have this downloaded, go ahead and go to your download folder and then go ahead and copy it to a removable disc like a thumb drive or something like that. A thumb drive always works best. And you're going to paste the zip file they give you right in here. And then you're going to extract it. You're gonna click extract files right there and it's gonna extract it into here. So you're gonna see something like this right there. And this file right here is going to be the new updated BIOS file. So when you do everything inside the computer, which I'll show you next, you're gonna be looking for this file right here with the .1mm, that's the newest one. So once you have that installed on your thumb drive, make sure you go ahead and plug it into the computer. Uh, so when you guys boot it the next time and go into the BIOS, you guys will have that so you can use that to flash with. Uh, certain motherboards require a certain slot for you to do that with. I know Tom's, this one right here, this is kind of more advanced motherboard, and there is a specific USB slot uh, that this uses because it uses something, I think it's called X-Flash or something like that, or M-Flash, uh, and it's just like an automatic flashing utility. You don't have to actually select the file, it just does it for you. Uh, but we'll show you all that next. Okay, so now that we're in the BIOS, we already put the flash drive in Tom's system booted to his BIOS, uh, which if you guys don't know how to do that, all you gotta do is reboot your computer and press delete a whole bunch of times and you'll get there. What you're gonna have to do is go to your flashing utility on your motherboard. So everybody's motherboard is different, but on MSI motherboards, I believe it's called M flash here. So you're gonna go to that. So it's gonna tell you, do you wanna enter flash mode? Yes. A few moments later. Okay. So now that we're in flash mode, it picked up our disk right here and you can see that it already read and found the file that it needs. So right here, the 7A31V1MM, that's the new file. So we're gonna select that and this should be it right here. Okay, go ahead and press yes and it will update the BIOS. And it may take a minute, so just let it do its thing and don't get impatient. 
eventually. Okay guys, so now that we are in this BIOS, so it looks like that new BIOS that you update to uh, for the Ryzen 3000 series, it actually completely changes the look of the UEFI. So it now looks like this, <clears throat> which Tom pointed out, it might just still be in beta or something, but yeah, it kind of looks even less good, would you say, Tom? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, anyway, but you can see down at the bottom there, uh, for BIOS build date, uh, that is going to be the 2019 date, and you can see right there, it's updated to that uh, 0.1 mm, which is the new one. So it looks like we did that correctly. So now, let's go ahead and uh, we'll boot into the actual uh, uh, Windows, make sure everything's running okay, and then we can go ahead and switch the CPUs out, and everything should be fine. Okay guys, at this point, what we need to do is open up the case, pull off the old CPU cooler. I think we're actually gonna keep using that one because it has RGB on it and the new one doesn't. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just clean off the old CPU, the old CPU grease, and then uh, put the new CPU in, put some new thermal paste on it, and we should be good to go. Okay, so as you guys can see, let me go ahead and make that focus real quick. There you go, so we got the, uh, got the Wraith cooler off right there. Still some thermal grease sitting on it. And all we gotta do is just take our Arctic Silver solution, our little cleaning kit that I use on all my builds, uh, clean all that stuff off, switch the CPUs, put that guy back on, and we'll reboot, and I will show you uh, the new BIOS and the new Ryzen 3000 processor working. All right, everyone, so this is Tom's moment. So. We're gonna we're gonna let Tom pull the CPU out and put his new CPU in, okay? So yep, pull that pull that lever up. Yep, there you go. And then you just grab it by the sides. Yep. There you go. There you go. Very careful with the pins. Yep. Go ahead and set it right in that little case right there. Yep. Pins down like that. There you go. And it should be just fine. Go ahead and close it just in case so we don't like hit it on accident. <laughs> that would be bad. There you go. Cool. All right, all CPU out. So uh, the new CPU. Remember? Uh, do you remember what I told you last time? Find that little triangle in the corner. Actually, let me let me see that CPU again one more time. Let me let me get, let me get a good focus. Ooh yeah, that's nice. Ooh yeah, yeah, we like that. Okay, yeah. So the little golden uh, golden triangle in the corner. Yeah, open it up this way. Like that. Yeah, that way it doesn't fall out. There you go. Okay, so yeah, see that little golden triangle? Should be in this corner right here. See that guy? Okay. Yep. The motherboard, it's going to be in the exact same corner. See that triangle? Right over here. See that? Is it on that one? No, it's this one. It should line up with that guy right there. You don't see a triangle? I promise it's there. <laughs> okay, now you see it. Okay. It's not, it's not <laughs> so literally, all you gotta do is just set it in there. Don't press it down or anything. Just set it in there, and it should just drop in. No, I think it's a little. You're off. close. Just, 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 just grab by the sides. Fix it a little bit. There we go. There you go. See how it dropped in? Yep. Everything cool. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, you did it. All right, cool. Go ahead and close the lever. Lock it down. Good? Good. Alrighty. We have now installed the Ryzen 3600X. Yeah! Okay, everybody, so here we are. And as you can see, we have the new BIOS and we now have a Ryzen 5 3600X six core processor. What are we running at? 3,800 megahertz, that's what we're supposed to be at. Yep, RAM is still detected, everything's good. So we will go ahead and go into the setup and we'll confirm everything, but it looks like everything turned out the way it's supposed to be. So yep, we can go down here and I'll show you guys, oh, I guess I can't show you guys, no, anyway, but down here where the cursor is, you can see, yep, we have the 0.1 mm BIOS on there. Uh, it is a 2019 BIOS, and it looks like we are now running our Ryzen 5 3600X. Okay, we did it. Good job, Tom. He did. I think he did a really good job putting that CPU in. That was his first time. That was really good. 
Uh, he made me do the thermal paste, but that's just because, you know, he didn't know how much to put on, so I get it. No big deal. <laughs> I didn't want you to make a mess anyway, so that was cool. Um, so yeah, Tom's gonna go ahead and sign off the video, so hopefully he doesn't screw it up this time. <laughs> so, go All ahead, guys, Tom. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to Ricky's channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tom might be in it. Probably not, though. Maybe the next one. We'll see. We'll put, we'll put him, yeah, we'll put him in some more videos, but yeah. I had fun, guys. Again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.